Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mark and in this channel, I talk a little bit about lifestyle, but I mostly talk about business and investments. If you are new to this channel, I've been an Airbnb host since 2016. Perhaps I may not be the biggest expert out there, but pretty much in these last seven years, well, minus two if you count the pandemic, I've hosted thousands of guests and I'm sharing to you what I know about being an Airbnb host. In the past, I've done videos on how to get your Airbnb started, from selecting the right location, right condominium developer, to talking about the Airbnb essentials and what are the things that you need to cover in your operations. In today's video, what I'm going to be talking about would be the top three things that I find are the biggest challenges about being an Airbnb host. Is this a ranting video? Not totally. <laughs> um, I guess I wanted to do this video just to set the expectation for you who would be an Airbnb host. And if you are an existing Airbnb host, well, this is to tell you that you are not alone. <laughs> These challenges are common to many of us. I'm not making this video to discourage would-be hosts, but just to ready yourself and perhaps get on a better mindset about these three main challenges. What are these three main challenges as an Airbnb host? Stick around and let's find out. Let's go. So when I tell people that I'm an Airbnb host and I've used my real estate investment for short-term guests, the usual questions would be, isn't it hard? Aren't you scared about your place being trashed? While that is the usual primary concern and it's in fact valid, these things that have to deal with disrespectful guests, your place being trashed, are actually lesser concerns to me. I know that the guys at Airbnb will be there to help. They would usually be fair in assessing these scenarios, so they are pretty much ready to help you out, uh, whether just morally or even financially. So for me, the challenges of being an Airbnb host really has less to do with these big issues, big ticket items that a lot of people would think are the biggest challenges. The three main challenges that I encounter day in and day out, they are these small things that tend to add up and sometimes you feel very burdened, very impatient with them. But as an Airbnb host, somebody's gotta do it. The first big challenge that I encounter daily as an Airbnb host would be the need for patience when attending to guest inquiries or guest stays. I don't know about you, but personally, I don't have any academic or formal training about customer service. So if you've worked in a customer-facing role, this might already be an advantage to you. But for me, not having that type of background, I guess it's hard to be always putting on that smile, putting on that pleasant conversation. A lot of guests ask for the same exemptions. They want to check in early. They want to check out late. A lot of guests don't read the details on your page. So it does tend to wear me down. And I'm sure it does to you too. And there are many instances wherein you know, questions are just really hard to answer. You know, um, you get this question about how do you turn on the TV? How do you turn on the aircon? So sometimes it may sound sarcastic, but again, when you are asked a pretty basic question, it's hard to answer in a pleasant or super all butterflies customer orientedness. So yes, that's number one and perhaps the biggest challenge to me. Are you guys relating to this so far? So let's move on to number two. The second challenge would be dealing with security, building administrators, and how you get your cleaners in, and of course, your guests. So if you run an Airbnb in a condo, you know what I'm talking about. You know, it's a big challenge because each condo has its different set of procedures and processes on how to get things approved. Some condos want you to use their app, some are okay with email, some have a definite lead time period when you should be submitting your requests. And it's not like it's uniform each time. Even if two buildings both run by either SMDC or both run by Megaworld, the rules and processes are similar, but there are nuances and it's always a challenge on getting your approvals on time. Security may not let my guests in. So this is always the challenge to me. And sometimes even if you pass everything on time, your IDs, the forms or whatever, sometimes these get lost along the way from the admin office to the security on duty. A lot of documents get misplaced. I mean, it's not a problem if I can wait for each guest each time. But as you know, I'm managing multiple Airbnbs there are late arrivals or early morning arrivals. 
So it's very hard to really put this together. I'm not really complaining about the building admin and security per se. I mean, just like us, they didn't undergo formal training on, you know, uh, hotel and restaurant management. So it gets a little bit challenging. I know they are making do with whatever procedures that their property manager has come up with. This is always a big challenge to me day in and day out because it's just something that I can't control that could really get in the way of a seamless experience for your guest. Oof, I'm getting tired just thinking about all that. Um, moving on to number three, I've mentioned this in the past and this is perhaps the most specific, most technical challenge that I'm facing as an Airbnb host. So this thing would be the existence of pests in our unit. You might be thinking, isn't it just so easy to get a professional pest control provider to solve the solution? Well, I hope the answer is as easy as that. I mean, if you can pay someone as a permanent solution, I really would. But the problem with condominium developments would be that each home, each unit, actually have different ways of how they manage their pests and perhaps promote their continued existence. I mean, it's really tough. The only way to get rid of pests completely would be if I own the entire building because you would have pest control uniform through every nook and cranny, every unit of the building. And that's how hotels are able to do it. They have pest control that covers the entire building. You know, you can't really control how your neighbor and how they actually manage their waste, their food, their cooking, and it becomes tough. And anytime also that your neighbor does their own pest control, there is the likely chance that those pests will come over to your place because you're right beside them and you didn't time your pest control with your neighbor. That's the tough thing about the whole guest experience as well. You know, I've done pest control as often as weekly, but sometimes it's just not enough because I really can't control not only my neighbor, but I also can't control my guests, how, how they do their cooking and do they throw their food right away? Or is it just out there overnight and really encouraging more pests to come in? So it gets really challenging. So those are the three main challenges. And you know what? There's no solution to them. Well, I guess for number one on customer service, you really have to have a lot more patience than usual more patience than probably with your kids or your significant other or whatever your situation is. I guess it would help to read books or perhaps undergo some short training courses. But for the most part, it will still end up with you having to be more patient with your guests. I guess sometimes as Airbnb hosts, we might take it for granted and how these things are so routine for us. And that's why we get impatient because it's just the same thing over and over again. So for me, what I find helpful would be really take into account when I do come in also as a guest so it doesn't have to be just an Airbnb stay but also when I'm a guest in a hotel I do take those instances very consciously very actively I'm thinking about so this is what my guests feel like when they're in this situation so um, I guess it doesn't hurt if you travel or maybe just do a staycation just to compare and see how it's like perhaps with your competitors or maybe not even competitors, but something that you want to benchmark your stay after. So yes, no way around it. You have to be more patient. And again, really think about the guest experience, having in mind that these guests are spending their hard-earned money to be at your place. Number two, in terms of the paperwork, the approvals, the procedures. My advice here is really to get to understand the personalities, the security, the admin staff. I would suggest that you develop a friendly but effective relationship with them. It would do you well to double check, triple check when you don't get your approvals. For me, I'm just on it, uh, whether it's via email, text, call, Viber, WhatsApp. But more than you know, following up and getting all these together would be uh, also managing that relationship with security, with the admin. So you have to do all the following up without having to ruffle their feathers. So it's really a balance of being detailed about it but also uh, being pleasant and still managing your relationship with the building admin. And lastly, on pest control, one more thing I forgot to mention was that pests actually also develop some sort of immunity sometimes when you keep using the same chemical or the same provider. So it would help to actually mix it up, uh, use a different uh, pest control provider. As mentioned in my previous video that you can get it cheap for the pest control provider of your building. But sometimes you really have to gonna mix it up 
change your vendor, change your service provider. I guess you can go as far as talking to your neighbor or giving guests guidelines. But that's also quite challenging. I don't know if it's gonna be quite as effective. That's why if you are a guest at an Airbnb, especially here in the Philippines, as long as it's not a total infestation of pests, but please be forgiving of your hosts if the pest situation is not entirely perfect. I'm not using this as an excuse, but hosts are doing their best to keep our place pest free, but it's, it's, it's just a tougher situation. I mean, if you really wanted a place to be 100% pest free, and that is your number one criteria, I think the only way for that to happen is for you to stay in a hotel. And even then, sometimes they still have pests. So can you relate to these problems? I just wanted to start this dialogue. There are many, many more if you want to hear them. Um, so let me know in the comment section. If you've liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching guys and happy Airbnb hosting.